what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction request if it's your first time please consider subscribing join the family we'd absolutely love to have you so guys this is a reaction request from jazzy j jazzy j wants to hear kai sakamoto sukiyaki is the name of the song sukiyaki is a very delicious japanese dish for you guys who don't know i lived in japan for a very long time i speak fluent japanese well i used to i, I haven't, haven't done a lot of that lately but i do speak japanese and i love japan my time in japan was full of a lot of awesome accomplishments for you guys who don't know i signed a sony over there and all kinds of stuff but story for another day or check out my previous videos because i'm sure i've talked about this stuff a million times by now but uh yeah this song right here uh is uh going to be delicious and making me hungry <laughs> but this is what jazzy had to say faith this is another one of my favorite songs from when i was a child i never knew the words to the song at all all i knew was that i loved this song thank you to the person sugar free who uploaded this song with lyrics with what a special gift you certainly made my day faith family i hope you enjoy the song as much as i do. I hope that we do as well, Jazzy. Thank you for the reaction request. By the way, if you guys want to do your own reaction request, head over to offtap.life. We'll go ahead and uh, drop it in the queue for you and make it happen. And uh, like I said, we're ready to get back into a flow of things and uh, do what we do. We've been doing it for a while now and we do it great. So that being said, let's get off tap. <laughs> Okay, very interestingly to start out with, first of all, I have heard this song before. Go figure. Very surprised that I have. But I have. <laughs> Maybe I heard it in Japan somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, wow, catchy. What a, it's crazy how when I do these reactions a lot of times I think I don't know the song and then next thing you know, I absolutely know it. So well there you go. Let's keep going. Oh, All right, guys, so one of the things I really love about this song is it's just so fun and catchy, you know what I mean? The music is like, a, like, just got kind of a vibe. You see me swaying to it kind of like, it's just like a like you know that kind of just very flowy type of song and i love things that are actually just memorable for the right reasons you know things that are memorable for the right reasons is very refreshing because it leaves an imprint of a happy moment a happy thought that sometimes you can just be doing nothing in particular and then something triggers that moment because association with said song that has cemented it in your head you know a lot of people can tell you where they were at when they heard such and such song or this or that or a lot of people go to that song to help them get through when you know things are dark or when things are great or whatever the reason is they just want to freaking put a smile on their face they want to dance a little whatever the reason is i love that about music and this is definitely one of those catchy type of songs that you would definitely put it in your playlist of this song i play for this particular reason just because it makes me happy, put a smile on my face when I'm feeling a little bit down, or I just love it because it's kind of catchy. Hey, <laughs> all right, let's bring it home, bring it home, bring it home. <laughs> Oh, 
Christmas song type of feel to it. Do you guys get that? Like you could play this during Christmas and it would fit in with all the other Christmas carols. Like, I don't know. Was this ever meant to be a Christmas carol? I mean, it works. It kind of works. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you play this at Christmas? I don't know. I'm just thinking it sounds Christmassy because it's joyful, happy, go-go feel, you know? Christmas carols make you feel... <laughs> okay, okay, I like it, I like it. What a great song, you know, I, I... I've been like pleasantly surprised by all the reaction requests that you guys give because it's always something that I like. I end up liking every single song. I can't think of one reaction request that any of you have given me where I've gone, Ugh, why did you do that? It's horrible. I mean, you guys have great taste in music. And, you know, I think that a lot of the classic songs from, you know, times long ago, you know, songs like this, is just something special about that period of time you know there's something special about music um, when you listen to stuff back then and you listen to stuff now a lot of the older stuff sounds so much more wholesome it sounds so much more playful and pure and it doesn't sound so like oh my gosh sex freaking drugs freaking just raunchiness like so many things that I feel like our generation now is just so more freaking just wild and out, you know what I mean? And the music reflects our society now, which is just way more intense, I think. Now, I wasn't back there at that time. Maybe they had that side of things too, but every time I hear music from like a long time ago, it just feels so wholesome. It's like, wow, it must have been a, a more chilled, time you know where people didn't even use profanity it seems like you know people all the songs just are nice and wholesome you know you don't hear anyone say any profanity now every song you know people freely just will drop you know a you know piece of profanity and it ain't a big thing and we just accept it you know even some songs have profanity in the title you know but back then they're making songs you know, with cool titles like Sukiyaki. <laughs> and they're just happy. Yay. Like, hey, it's it's okay. Life is great. Zippity doo da and zippity day. My oh my oh, what a wonderful day. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, look guys, I really think that you should definitely go and visit Japan if you've never done that. This song reminds me of all the wonderful times I had in Japan. It is an absolutely incredible country and one that I really miss. It's just such a beautiful place, the people, the culture, the food, of course, which is some of my favorite food in the world. Specific things, not all of the Japanese food, because I don't like all Japanese food, because I don't like, like, seaf I'm not a seafoody person, really, but I do love Japanese chicken curry, mm. chicken katsu curry, onigashimasu, sukoi oishii da yo. I just basically said, I want chicken katsu curry, and it is very, very delicious. <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, yakiniku, which is thin slices of like steak meat, you know, like really nice beef, just thin sliced with a saute, kind of a, kind of a teriyaki-ish kind of sesame seed oil mix kind of sauce and uh 
on a bed of rice. Those are my two favorite Japanese things to eat. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. Oh, I love Japanese food. Uh, but yeah, look guys, uh, I'm hungry now. So we're going to end this video because I haven't eaten much lately. I haven't even, I haven't even eaten today. I haven't, I haven't been sleeping much. I haven't been eating much. It's, yeah, you know, sometimes in life. Anyways, I'm going to go and attempt to do some of those things right now. So without further ado, I bid you adieu. And as always, remember each moment to the fullest. Keep it off tap. Thank you, Jazzy J, for the reaction requests. And I'm out.